Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel, including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are here on the LZ Alpha at nighttime with all our duplicates having to sleep. And the reason I brought you here at nighttime is we have got some major heat transference issues over here. You can see water has been dripping down, and because of these two te uh, these two airlocks over here, we have been getting quite a severe amount of heat transference coming through. So we need to try and sort that out. And I think the easiest way to do this would be to put some sort of uh, insulative layer here. I'm wondering how is the best way of doing that. Uh, we're going to have troubles because, of course, we've got some heavy watt wire just there. I think the first thing we can do, of course, is to transfer through a tile rather than trying to just... Uh, uh, use the airspace here. Oh, what is the best way of doing this? I think what we actually need is some sort of down and back up airlock so that we don't end up uh, having such a straight run uh, of straight run of temperatures. That, that's that's the problem right here. Is we definitely have some sort of issue uh, where all the steam is allowed to just go straight up. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to get a little bit of insulative tile coming down here. We're going to go for another one over there. Uh, we want to have to go down to then come back up again afterwards, right? That That's the way that's going to work. Something very much, in fact, that looks like this. I think that should be able to do us quite well. I'm not sure what the priorities are here. We definitely need to push those up to try and get that heat working well for us. Because now we have broken our gas shut off. And that means that a lot of the... Um a lot of the hydrogen that we are asking to come down here isn't allowed to move through. This is going to start getting hot. We're going to start... Uh, start overheating our gas pump here. A lot of bad things can happen if we don't just get this done as fast as possible. But of course, one of the big problems is we've made this out of lead, not of anything that's actually even slightly heat resistant. So we have to try and work on that as well. I'm not sure whether Miss Align and Mad Frank have now got stuck down here, but uh, I'm, I'm okay if it has, as long as they've got the materials. Oh, no, 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 they're all right. They are out and working with life. But this is good. This is good. I'd really like this tile to get made as soon as possible. But I suppose that does then lock off this entire section here. So we're just going to have to wait for it. I'm not sure whether this triple airlock is, in fact, uh, aiding aiding the uh, the flow of heat through here. I'm wondering whether opening it would have been a much better idea. M opening the middle one would have been a much better idea. Uh, therefore, keeping a, a, an insulative vacuum in between? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, Mad Frank in the middle of doing the unspeakable and locking himself in here. This should work out fine for him, though. He is a purveyor of insulate... Uh, sorry, igneous rock, so he should be able to get through and make all this stuff pretty easy. If I go P8 and do, hey, can you do these outlines? I suppose, actually, technically, that one's very important. Uh, uh, but if we get, like, the inside done first, and maybe this bottom line here as well, that should mean access is available whilst people are still trying to work through all the different types of rock here. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Both Mimi and Miss Align stood underneath these tiles that they're building. I would like to see what happens. We ended up with a little bit of water in here. I think that's fine. I'm not, not overly bothered. This water is, in fact, used for transferring heat around amongst the materials that we sweep up that are too hot. So, you know, that, that's working out all right. Uh, this probably also needs to be put up into the priorities because there's a bit of solid rock there that nobody's going to be able to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We need to deal with this. I'm going to cancel that build. I'm going to cut that bit of coal. Um, someone should then break that so we can get those guys going up and down and then I'm going to put the door back. Oh, yeah. Okay, building this one out of iron this time should hopefully give us a little bit more of a temperature resistance down in this hot area. <laughs> so we've dropped some liquids down through here and we seem to have some sort of like crazy steamification going on. I'm wondering whether any of the things down here are over 100 degrees and thus turning everything straight into steam. I don't think so, but that th look, the igneous rock down here is actually over 100 degrees. That's that's what's going on here. Oh no, there's another sportured seed here. Oh no, let's sweep that up at the highest, prop uh, highest possible priority. I don't think it's actually going to get used though, because there's no way for people to get through here. Downtime has been cool, but Mad Frank just needs to keep on digging. Just in case, I'm going to dig up this igneous rock here for him and see if that's a material he needs. Uh, ladder mathic rock. Ladder mathic rock. What is this? Igneous? I don't know whether we have any mathic rock left. So we didn't have any mathic rock, so I destroyed the build order and uh, put some digs down. And hopefully Mad Frank can make it out before he starts suffocating. That'd be good. That'd be really good. Oh, oh, oh. Where's he going? Where's he? Oh. Oh, well done, mate. You got yourself a comfy bed. Okay. Well, this seems to be working. We're going up and down past the 100 degree, that uh, 400 degree. That flips open. The airlock opens. A vacuum un opens up. And then the temperature starts just, like, dissipating out for this to then go back down. Go back. 
go back down. All right, it's not going to go back down immediately, but you can see the little uh, loop that is going on here, and that's that's actually pretty beautiful. Oh, here we go. It's closing. The w where it went upon, it warms back up. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder whether this igneous rock is actually getting hot enough to melt. Okay, mad Frank the next day trying to plot his escape here. Definitely needs to try and make his way through these two blocks right here. If he can't get through these two, I'm not sure what's going to work. Mm, okay, mad Frank, that's fine, I suppose. All the germs are going to immediately die. In fact, there was no room for anything? Question mark. Where did that all go? It all just immediately uh, flashed up into steam. I'm kind of about that, actually. Kind of about it. Okay, Mad Frank getting dreadfully close to being out of oxygen here. Let's have a look and see what he's got with his breath. His breath is still 100%, but that's, of course, because he is surviving off this little bar here. Oh, he's off. Let's have a have a look and see where he's going. Top of the line, he brings him back in here, and then we don't really know where he's going. He's just going to go dock the atmosphere suit, but that that's kind of it. All right, fair enough. Oh, oh, this is what happened to all the mess that Mad Frank dropped. Ew, 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 no. Oh, it's all full of... Oh, it was in the suit. This isn't what we want. This isn't what we want at all. It's going everywhere. Ah. Right, and that is should be is yeah is how you can contain all your heat from down below right steam carries up this keep cools it down it drops down not got burning hot steam on this side yeah i think it's gonna work out well for us oh no oh no the gas pump is over hot because we couldn't get the f the uh, the flow going this is coming through to try and cool it down but it's already too late it is already too late all right who's on it luna is going to eventually be on it thankfully this has been put in place so this is going to start cooling down cooling down doesn't look like it's cooling down looks like it's warming up that is not what we're after what temperature is the uh, the hydrogen coming through here does the hydrogen not cool the gas shut off valve down as well by any chance is that is that just not a thing that happens well, it looks like we're headed for 53 degrees, looking at the uh, the automation wire and the gas shut off. Even though the... Oh, really? Is that still going up? Do we want to put a small bit of... Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to go for ventilation. I want to go for a radiant gas pipe, but I want that one there to be radiant. Maybe this one here as well. Oh, look, we've actually got a double layer of water here, salt water and normal water. That's producing a nice little lock mechanism here, the, aside from what the door is. Obviously, none of the steam can actually come down and fill this area up, and thus it's keeping all the temperature away from this door, which, you know, we could have done just by using a liquid lock, but as I've explained in the past, I kind of don't like liquid locks from a law point of view. You know, I, I, I can't... We've got doors. Let's use doors, guys. We can, we can come up with ways of making liquid locks... Uh, a non-mandatory thing. Okay, the rest of the day, or the rest of the episode, sorry, is going to be spent trying to get this system up and working here. This, of course, is the dormitory that we are trying to build uh, for our duplicates to live in. And I just literally want to copy this out one, two, three more times. So I'm going to set all that up and I will bring you back. And we can watch watch these guys do some things. Things that we need to watch out for, of course. Things like the atmospheric checkpoint, the atmospheric suit checkpoint. We've got to make sure that's off before people start running past them. Because for some reason, duplicates like to take off their suit, drop it down there, and then go running past because... The atmospheric suit isn't in the dock, and so they won't put it back on, and they'll just leave it on the floor, which is very not helpful, as I'm sure you guys can understand. <clears throat> we got most of the way through this first cycle where we've been building this. You've still got a whole lot of stuff up and running. I'm not sure whether I want to leave these atmospheric check suits actually in place or just turn the priorities down as I have done so. Uh, we're going to go with that, and then, you know, if things go wrong, then things go wrong. I need another checkpoint right here and uh, another one up here. Little bit of a problem with the plants. This is definitely something that we keep running into issues with but you know we'll we'll work around it as and when people get up there to dig end of the day though it's a little bit of a disappointment because we could have got a lot more done and could have got some people in here of course the utilities are a big issue here what we're going to do with the power over this side and the water over this side definitely things that need what wait what Fle who's fleeing? Literally went through everybody and I can't find whoever's fleeing. That's a bit of a shame. I assume that it was Jelly getting in a fight with a puncher with the cipher. I mean, the only way that's going to work out, right? How? 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 No, wait, what? So I was just like, all right, that we seem to have two atmospheric suits out there somewhere that don't seem to be being used. And I can see why now. Somewhere in here, clothing. Yeah, we got to turn these off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, got to turn these off. All right, I've now put those to a sweep of nine. They can't go into these sweep storage bins, so hopefully they'll get put into the situations up here. Hopefully. Hmm, I did intentionally set out to make this fire pole copper, but as it is being made of copper, that's fine because there's a bit of a decor bonus to them, I believe. Hey, the decor is minus for this, but we've got a 10% bonus for being copper. That's 5% off. 
Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Point, point 0.5 off. 10%. Point 0.5. I don't know why I said percentage there. Oh, oh, I just watched Luna bring one of the atmosphere suits back. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. What about the other ones down here? I should imagine it's going to once again be Luna. Of course, that's not not where we get to see that. How about if I come up here, click on this, and then go Erin's here? Yeah, there it is. That's Luna. Always doing the jobs that are most needed, though not necessarily the most glamorous. Her and Captain Subs kind of doing the background work all the time. Good good work, guys. Good work. Okay, hydrogen comes into this one at 8 degrees, but by the time it's leaving here, it's 10 degrees, and I assume that's because it's cooling this gas shut off down. As you can see, it goes up and down, up and down a lot. I'm okay with that. What I'm least okay with is the fact that this just keeps seems to be... Uh, warming up here uh, that's a bit of a shame but we are literally just at the beginning of the natural gas geysers eruption cycle uh, indeed it's going to be idle in one cycle whereupon it all gets to cool back down again before it kicks back out again and the temperature goes up and down up and down up and down but it looks like we're equilibrium equilibrium uh, around about 70 i'm fine with that all right cycle 420 aye, we are on the point where we are actually building the dormitory roof i've got a feeling that we're going to go over the top and put all down all these uh, all these tiles first oh, the having this full fireman's pole in place is definitely going to help out the uh, the build style here. I'm wondering whether we actually want to take it all the way down here. Do we have anything that we need to run into? So it looks like we're going to run into that saltwater geyser, but I'm, you know what? I am quite happy to erect a wall. Ah, no, we are we are one block too close to the saltwater geyser, so maybe we'll just work our way down to about here, and then we'll figure out a new way of going. Just anything to speed it up, you know? Anything to speed it up. Oh no, oh no, Mimi, what have you done? What have you done? How can you not get out of here? Uh, you, you, you lack, you lack the skill. Can we get you out of here? Move you over here. Is that a thing? Doesn't look like that is a thing. Okay. Oh, oh, and she's gone. All right. That's cool. That's cool. She figured it out herself. That's good work. Good work. All right. Plants are out of the way. Thank you very much, people. All right. Let's put that one down there and get the rest of the stations in place. All right. I've put everything up to a priority nine and we have got many duplicate coming in to work on this. In fact, I'm not sure who isn't working on this. I should imagine it's just people who are moving materials around for us, but I can definitely see that we've got the Shroudkers over here. we got Mimi. we got Cubic. Um, of course, Miss Align and Mad Frank are getting involved. Up here, we got Shroudkers. Dr. Captain Subs himself. Oh, yeah. It's going well. It's going well. Where, where are the other guys? So most people are in here oh that wasn't day downtime no we do have new pl uh, new blueprints available though the majority of people do appear to be just coming back and forth here let me just two four six eight nine ah oh, one more one more and we could get everyone out this way so who is it who's not making it out obviously we've got forest over here i'm not sure if he's even allowed outside now yeah yeah people are allowed outside now so there's always going to be one person floating around inside if they're not not going out this way why are you out of oxygen Wait, wait, I, I I, don't even need to ask, really. I know why this is out of oxygen. Because we're dormant over here. That's fine, that's fine. We can definitely work around that. Uh, I asked last time how cold it was going to get in here. Eight degrees. I'm a little bit worried that when this kicks up in... Uh 25 cycles we're gonna instantly freeze the water coming through here i mean it is coming through at 95 degrees so hopefully it will be okay all right that is the end of cycle 420 and uh yeah th there we go also i'm a little bit glad that i didn't make a joke about cycle 69 or maybe i did i don't remember now I, uh, I'm going to carry on this ladder up here. And you might be like, Twitchy, what are you doing that for? Well, those really observant of you, even though it's quite dark now, so I can understand why you wouldn't, might notice this neutronium bar here. Okay, so let's find out what's in here, shall we? I'm going to put... Get out my insulator tile. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, okay, it's a narrow one. Okay, that's fine. What do, we, what do we find in narrow ones? We maybe have a chlorine geyser here. Maybe a hot steam vent. There's all sorts of things that it could be. Who knows what it actually is, though? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, Luna, why do you keep coming in here? I've really got to turn off disinfect for this. How do I do it? Disable disinfect. There we go. This should now just be filthy. That's fine. I don't mind too much about that. No surface germs, of course. But how about the liquid in... Uh, how about in the liquid? That would make a lot more sense. Uh, 60,000 germs, but look, at 52, half of those are dying every cycle. It just is a shame that we're pumping more in every cycle. No, no, it's happened. It's happened. I didn't want it to happen. All right, we've got to disable that building. Oh, my gosh. Why? 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 The, the, the priority was so low. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. 
Oh, okay, that that's kind of sad, but we're going to have to try and figure out a way around it. Who is it who actually did this? Who is that? Mimi, how are you doing? Can I um, navigate you back in here? Can we then go deliver suit at a super high priority and at the same time be like, hey, this atmosphere suit here needs to be swept? Okay, all right, straight away, Luna is re-delivering the suit. And Mimi going over that way. That's cool, that's cool. Now, has this one been turned off? It has been asked to be turned off. Let's turn up the priority so we can make sure someone turns it off before they walk past it and get another atmosphere suit being uh, needlessly dumped on the floor. Of course, digging all this out here is all well and good, but I am really trying to get to the bathroom back here because one of the next things I want to do is start working on our water tank down below. I think basically we're going to empty this area out or maybe even leave the ethanol down there just as a little heat sink or something and then seal off this big old tank here. Put some, uh, put a water sieve up the top and then keep the heating and stuff going on. Oh, why is this here? Do you guys see this? There's a little bit of polluted dirt, but what is it behind it? Sorry, I just got distracted here. It's polluted oxygen. Why does it just sit there? Is it being hemmed in by the water and the hydrogen above it? That is very interesting. Mm, it's basically a water lock, but we're using hydrogen instead of a ceiling. Is 300 grams of salt water little enough to mop up? No, it's not. We've got some salt water in here. That's a little bit of a uh, uh, an awkward one, though it says here only liquid water available, so I suppose that's cool. Oh, yeah, all right, that's the end of that second cycle. We actually got a fair bit done here. You can see this first line of um, bedrooms here getting pretty done, and the Great Hall. I believe we're missing a... What's the word? I was, uh, hang on, let's have, let's have a look. Let, when all else fails, check the overlays. Find out what you think you got going wrong. And I think this is what's going wrong. You can see that it actually thinks it's a probable room type. It's missing the Great Hall. Uh, the, I, don't, I don't know how to show you. Well, let's read it down together, shall we? Miscellaneous room, no effects. Room details, that shows everything that... This this room actually has room size buildings, critters, plants. The possible room types, that's the bit I'm looking at at the bottom there. The Great Hall mess table, because of the mess table, it's suggesting that. Uh, and we are missing a decor item. I put a whole bunch of uh, crowning up. But I now that I stop and think about it, I think we only need one decor item that is at least 20. So we'll try and fix that. And also a recreational building, which I might actually just extend up here or maybe move some of these mess tables around and try and fit in some extra, extra space somewhere because I'm not sure what counts as a recreational building. Okay, so we've got two types of, of building in this furniture uh, plot here, if you will. We've got these like wall pots, flower pots, uh, what, what else is like that? Oh, anyway, uh, it increases the decor uh, and morale, all of this stuff down here, decor and morale, deco, uh, decor and morale. But if you come up to this top set of stuff here, the arcade cabinet doesn't do decor, the jukebox doesn't do decor, the water cooler doesn't do decor. I think these must be the, uh, the fabled uh, recreation buildings. Okay, I'm loving the idea of the espresso machine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this mess table here and this mess table here. Uh, and we're going to actually take out all the middle ones. Uh, because what we're going to do instead is get some more furnitures out. We're going to go, hey, can I have, please, where is it, mess tables? Uh, we're going to put four at the top and four at the bottom and then two on each floor here. Uh, that should then match up to the same because obviously we're just moving this one down here and that one up there. Uh, and given us room for the recreation items and maybe we can even fit the decor item in between. We'll find out when these guys get up here and help me out. Oh no, the jukebox is too big. I can't put it. Oh, that was weird. Zoom in too far and you can't see the outline of the jukebox. Okay, so that's, um, oh, okay. So we can get the, the espresso machine in. It looks like we're going to have to get the decor item in down below rather than the recreation item. Let's try and see what actually gives us enough decor. Maybe some marble. Let's have a look. Decor plus 20%. Mm -mm. I mean, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. These are the effects here. Okay, I definitely want that. Uh, that's a plus 20. Plus 20% 20 should be plus 22, right? That is big marble block. I'm going to go with one of those here, and then we'll go for a large sculpting block next to it. And there we go. That should be our great hall. Obviously, this is going to need things like power, but that, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, yeah. People are into the areas where they can actually start working on the, uh, the bathrooms now. Of course, one of the areas that I've been waiting for for a little while, the well, indeed. I say that, they turn around and start working on all the bedrooms. I mean, fair enough, guys, fair enough. I guess comfort is a top priority of yours. Yeah, I suppose it's a priority of mine as well. I get the feeling you're really not meant to be building on this side. Look, I've got some room over here, but if I try and come up here, the uh, the, the instructions, these, these notifications, that's what I'm looking for, these notifications here totally get in my way and stop me placing down the stuff. I have to literally place in this tiny little window that I've got here. It's, uh, it's not great, Clay. It's not great. Could I have a fix for this, please? 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what a fix might be. If I go all S and then come over here. No, no, it won't let me do it. Normally, I can then zoom to whatever I like and press it. Oh, it keeps re realigning that edge there. And that is the bit that I'm trying to get around. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Talking of kind of annoying. End of cycle 422. Getting very close to having this all done, though. Look at this. Let's take a moment to think about the plumbing. Now, obviously, we are going to have some plumbing coming down this side yep very much i'm gonna say this is the dirty water yeah we'll, go, we'll do that this is the the filthy water and then this is the clean water okay the clean water is the, oh let's get this right clean water is actually gonna to have to go all the way to the top there this one comes in here and this one comes in here then that one goes that way and that way and we just need to collect these up to the correct areas now i always get this wrong but this is water in right white arrow going into a trough means it is water going in and that is where our water is going to actually oh go go away edge of the screen thanks very much all right beautiful like that then these should just be able to go up like this and because of this extra length that we've got here should also be able to not uh, not consider this pipe full when uh, when everything is emptying at once it's a shame that this one's got such a small outlet pipe but i can't i really can't do much else about it other than this all right great big interlocking two uh, teeth of pipes i like this i like this a lot and then, then these ones are also can i get the right area just like this oh beautiful beautiful what do you mean it took me all night to load those up? Oh, man, uh, we haven't even got this top bit done here. But, yeah, that's taken me all night to lay those out. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're also going to need some other things. Are we, we going to need power in here? I don't think we need power in the bathroom. I have heard, however, that lighting up your bathrooms doubles the duplicate uh, use rate, uh, how, how quickly they get through it. Half's the time they take? That might be a better way of wording it. Which is a, it's a rather nice way that they have of trying to make lighting a bit more useful than it currently is. Though I've heard that there is a mod out there, and once we've finished this map, I don't know if we're ever going to get around to the point of finishing this map. I might even try some of these mods that do things such as darken the asteroid where you haven't got any lights. I think that's a great idea, uh, and things like that. There's, there's also something called Small Worlds, I think it is, that doesn't give you this, like, huge, fully mapped-in map, but actually gives you, like, little blobs of things. Like, maybe but only puts in, like, half the biomes and the rest is space, which also sounds amazing. We'll, we'll give some of those a look at some point, I'm sure. Oh, I put them all in as nines. I didn't mean to do that. How did that happen? Let's have a look. Here, here. Oh, it really has. I must have just done it on automatic. Ouch. Oh, 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 and down you go, Forrest. All right, it's good job there's no sort of, like, full damage on this. We're going to have to figure out at some point how far we can actually drop a duplicate. Maybe make a massive drop shaft on the other side of the map. Uh, climb a duplicate up there, breaking all the ladders behind them, and then take out that last piece and see how far they fall. I think that would be uh, hilarious and also good fun, uh, and also a good test. I suppose also good fun. Oh, look, Miss just broke this out as I was uh, going to talk about it. That's cool, that's cool. So down here, I've decided just to get rid of some of this salt water. It is totally in my face, and it needs to get out of there. I might even take this corner out here like this and allow that to, uh, to flow a little bit further. All in preparation for actually moving this tile line across like this. Beautiful. Once the corridor has been made, we'll figure out where we want to, like, poke holes through and make big tanks and stuff like that. Okay, one thing I am going to do. So all the floors made out of granite. I'm going to put dry, uh, sorry, sandstone drywall. Oh, it won't let me put it on all over it. I was hoping this would like drag out a nice big square. But no, we're going to start putting some sandstone drywall behind everything. Because we've got granite floors, sandstone walls. How could this not be swanky swanky? I'm a little confused how we've gone from everyone working on the working face of stuff to just these three, uh, Mad Frank, Misaligned, and Mimi down here. Now, I get it that these are the ones with the building priorities, but where's everyone else? What's everybody else up to right now? Let's uh, let's see. Forrest, you are doing some research. That's fine, that's fine. I did actually want the research done. Luna, um, there, moving water around for the research. Okay, that, that also makes sense. A decipher, dealing with what is Decipher's jobs, the animals. Okay, that's also pretty good. Dr. Captain subs uh where is he ah here he is over here the, the research supply gets more supplies for the research i suppose that's what a doctor would indeed do a Strauticus, my man doing the cooking exactly as his job just should dictate uh cubic doing the farming that's also cool mimi as we know doing the building and moving stuff around and of course jelly just just like carrying everything look at look at all this look at all this why is this a one mm, he's filling this i'm not sure how i feel about that to be fair i am not sure but we'll, we'll leave him to it we'll leave him to it 
and we still not warm this area up. So this uh, little cold area up here has been trying to fight its way into our base for the longest time, to the point where this Murph fleet, it was a bit of a meme at the beginning of the season where it kept on dying, we replanted it, it kept on dying and we replanted it. Uh, eventually it got to the point where it could actually sustain itself here, but still it is too cold. We need to be up to at least 20 and it's like, no, nah, 18 is not good enough. It's because all the cold has been creeping in from here, but look what's next to it. Oh man, how is that not a thing? Look, we've got, we've got actual access through here and it's just been pulling out all the heat. Look, the, over here we got 36, 40 and over here we got 4. Did I mention that I'm really worried that the first water that comes out of here is going to freeze over this way? Minus three. Oh, gosh. All right, all right, all right. We are going to block access to that until this starts up again. But really nice to have a way of taking an automation signal off of uh, the the off of the geyser here. They wouldn't really, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to double check. No, there's no way. There's no way of taking a signal off of there. I suppose you could kind of hack it by having a bit of a temperature gauge up here or something like that. But even that, that's not great. You know, that's not great. That's basically just doing what this is doing. Yeah, having a way of taking the dormant signal and turning the doors off. That would be amazing. You know what? The meaty bulk of this episode was supposed to be sorting out a new uh, new water system down below. I think it's just going to end up turning into how to build all this together, and then we'll do the do the uh, utilities afterwards. I think maybe, maybe even next episode. The way this is going. Noticing that there are a few places where we just haven't quite got the uh, the final bits of research here. Superheated forging seems to be the one. We've really got to sort out a better metal refinery as well. Also, uh, things like the fluid redirection and uh, catalytics down here. And of course, we don't have transit tubes yet. So I'm going to be working over those for the next, uh, next little while as well. Leaving Forrest in the base and letting everybody feed him with the materials to get that done. Uh, that's not Forrest, that's Shrapskis. Okay, cool. I was about to be like, Forrest, what are you doing out there? But more importantly, Forrest, what are you doing out there? You're going down to the oil refinery to fabricate oil instead of going to do the research ah. one of the good things about building these dorms is we're starting to clear out all these uh, little bits of granite and igneous rock that we've got just kind of kicking around that didn't get picked up so that that's pretty cool i guess <laughs> It's actually gonna gonna melt. So I was looking at how we've got a couple of uh, overheat warnings up here. I was like, I'm sure I fixed most of those, and I did fix most of those. Some of them uh, need to be worried about. But look, look at this here. Okay, this is this is a melting, but it doesn't seem to have any sort of like health to it. So I'm wondering whether it's actually taking damage at all. I don't know. I'm gonna disable the auto repair though. We'll see what happens. Look at this like uh, naphtha down here. Hmm. Produced from the burning... Oh, we've met with a ladder! Oh, we've met with a ladder! Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that is cool. So I noticed a lot of the drywall wasn't actually being made out of sandstone. I went and had a look at our utilities here. And drywall, you can see that actually we're running out of sandstone. If I go and put a line across the top here, it goes down to a very small number. In fact, I can run out pretty quickly so what we're gonna have to do instead is a bit of granite that's no big problem no big a problem at all i'm actually tempted to go hey wait we got one two three four and then there was like two more right and uh, that's 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 not enough i was hoping we could do a little bit of a strip at the bottom of everyone but no that's not working so we'll go to the dra uh, decor um and of course granite uh it, it's a higher it's a higher um decor percentage but you know i was using granite elsewhere these guys are now just in granite boxes and I don't know what it is about the human brain that prefers doing not this pattern. So for either that pattern or this pattern are your ways of filling in a space like this. And I much prefer the spiral. Maybe it's something to do with the least number of turns. I don't know. Then going back and forth like this. This just does not sit well with my brain. Also, I've put a little bit of drywall in here that I didn't mean to. I've noticed this is a thing that I also follow in Minecraft. If I've got a hole, I'd rather go around the edges to fill it in than to go back and forth. So, uh, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what that actually... Is, is that a common thing? Do you guys also have this? Do you prefer to do little spirals or do you prefer to do lines back and forth? So I realize I've got a little bit of an issue here. All the power for these, like, light fittings... Uh, in, I meant light as in small, but, you know, the light fittings as well will co be coming in across the top, uh, whereas I need the power for the atmospheric suits to be coming in across the bog. Now, this isn't a problem when it's just one layer, but say that I need to do the same here. I will come across the top here and then come down and... Oh, I've run into that. I want to keep these all separate so they're running on their own separate systems because we've got a battery over here that's going to be powering it all. Uh, so I don't want to merge the roots. Now I can go this one over here. Now what would happen when we then could bring this one down and suddenly this entire line is still full? Hmm, complicated. Oh, oh, okay. We've uh, reached a bit of a problem here. This is not getting down to temperature. Uh, and we are not getting enough water out of there. So what if I set this to 50 for now and just 
just hope that that's good enough, right? That's that's kind of going to have to be be the winner there, I think. Uh, will the war will this continue pumping hydrogen? It doesn't. I kind of want to disable that, I think, so that we can just just continuously try to freeze the hydrogen because there's no way getting close to 50 is good enough. The easiest way to do that is just deconstruct this knot gate. So the way I see it, there's two options. We either do something weird like stagger them down the here, here, this one comes over here, and then this one comes like over this way somewhere, or we build a second or a fifth one of these uh, transformer units up here and then power all the lights off the same circuit. I'm leaning towards that second one at the moment, but both of them kind of don't fit right with me right now. All right, Mimi's building one of the checkpoints here. I've got to make sure she doesn't run past it before I disable the building up very high, and hopefully no one's going to come running past it too soon. Well, with most of the major hardware in place, time is looming on the horizon for me, so I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time, where not only will we get this finished, but down here, we're going to put a water uh, purification unit down here. We're going to be dealing with germs down here. We're going to have varieties of different ways of making oxygen to feed the four different sets of, uh, of atmosphere suits. And of course, we've got to figure out some sort of cooling system up here as well. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.